Hey guys, it's Ashton. I'm Ryder. And welcome to another episode of RPG Fishing. Some of the places we fish are Newport Harbor, Dana Point Harbor, The Village, Woodbridge, and many more other Great Lakes. Yeah. Hey guys, here's what we use for saltwater and freshwater. Shimano Siticas. Great reels overall, about $100 to $150, depending on where you find them. The gear ratio is 72 to 1, and on this one, which is mine, I have 12-pound Isoline, which with my friend over here, he has 30-pound spider wire. Same exact reel, same exact everything. So inside here, the bearings are pretty dang good. I would say the quality of the reel is more than good. I'm very happy with our reels and how they perform and what you can put on them, what kind of stress you can put on them and what they can handle. Hey guys, so with the Shimano Sitica, I have a Johnny Morris Carbon Light made by Bass Pro. Very, very sensitive. Great rod overall for about $100. You can pick it up anywhere, Cabela's, online, Bass Pro. It's a great rod, very sensitive. Seven foot, medium heavy. Um, there's nothing really to it more than it's just a great overall rod. I've had this for a couple years. I've broken a couple, but hey, that's going to happen. Hey guys, it's Ryder again. This is my Akuma Tarbos. Overall, it's a medium heavy rod. It's seven foot long. And it's to me, it's one of the best rods I've ever had. I've never snapped it. Don't even have a crack. I've had it for about two years now. And it doesn't... It's not like that action-y, but overall it's a great rod, good for beginners, and it doesn't break. I've caught two big fish on it, and pretty good. Love it. Hey guys, it's Ashton back here again. With this bait, I have a big hammer swim bait and a war bait jig head. Both quality good swim baits and jig head. Three-fourths ounce jig head with a weed guard. With this, a hookup bait, it's called. Very good color, just quality quality for murky waters. It's just great overall. And then here we have a underspin that I've caught many, many fish on. Just, just slays the spotties in the calico. So all three of these baits today, I went fishing, and I caught three fish on all of these baits. Quality, quality lures. So some of the things that I also used today were this pink hookup bait. And then I used a red crab two days ago, and the some spotty just murdered it. It literally bit off the whole tail, and it was... I had it, and then it just went off, but whatever. So some quality things that I usually use in the harbor are this one, mate. And the warhead is usually perfect for me, and this one, mate, just for spotties, because it's in the harbor, and sometimes it can be murky. So it's a three-inch swim bait with a warhead. Perfect. I like it a lot. Usually in the harbor, we use these hookup baits, though. They usually work. They swim very nicely. And one of the things I mostly recommend to use in the harbor. Thanks.